In this video, we're going to talk about how to use Solver to optimize a salesperson's effort. First, let's take a look at the data. So in this example, we have four different accounts with four doctors, Dr. Hu, Dr. Frank, Dr. West, and Dr. House. So on these four accounts, the salesperson can make a different number of calls with each one of these doctors. And based on existing record, the expected profit that the company or the salesperson can achieve from each one of these doctors is as follows. So for example, with Dr. Hu, making one sales call visit would yield a $100 profit, and the two is 400 but it increases significantly when you call more. The call three is a thousand, and all the way to call number ten is two thousand three hundred and fifteen dollars. And similarly, you have Dr. Frank, where having the first call would yield a pretty high sales already at fourteen hundred dollars, and then it goes up and up with more calls. Now we have these profits based on the number of calls for all these four different accounts. And this is the profit that we have. And currently, the salesperson can make a total of 15 calls to these doctors. And the salesperson's effort allocation is to call Dr. Hu seven times, Dr. Frank three times, and Dr. West three, Dr. House two. So that's the current allocation of the 15 calls to these doctors. So the question here is whether the salesperson can reallocate the effort of 15 calls among these four accounts and yield a higher total profit. So to do this, let's first calculate what is the current total profit based on the calls made. The profit from this account, we're going to use a formula that we have used before is index. So equals index, and what we look for on the index is this set of returns, and a comma, and the row number is basically the number of calls made in cell D14. And close the parentheses, and enter. So that is the profit from making seven calls. And we can copy this to all the other accounts. And then to calculate the total profit, it's simply the sum across these accounts. Close it and enter. So the current profit of 15 calls is $11,985. Now, we want to use Silver to find a new call plan by setting the number of calls here to maximize the total profit here. So let's do the calculation on the new profit based on the new call plans. The new profit, again, we're going to use index. So if our call for a doctor is zero, for example, using index directly is going to yield an arrow. So we're going to add an if out of the index. So just equals if, parenthesis, and uh, we want this number of calls to be larger than zero, then we're going to use the index. So index parenthesis, and the area is here, and comma, and uh, the row column is the number of calls, and close the index, and the comma. So the next value is if the number of calls is zero, and then the profit will simply be zero. So it's zero and the parenthesis and enter. So now we can copy this to all the other accounts. And similarly, we're going to calculate the sum of the profit across all the four accounts. And I close the parenthesis and enter. So this is far lower. It's at $9,900. Of course, since we're not calling as much, we're only making eight calls, we could increase this to, let's say, 10, 
uh, that will be 16, isn't it? So let's change this to 2. So now, at this rate, at least for the current solution, we're having an inferior profit to the current practice. Now let's use silver to find the optimal effort allocation. Let's go to data, silver, and the objective is to set D20 to maximize D20 by changing variable cells here, all these calls. And now we want to set the constraints on this. Add. So these calls should be less than or equal to 15. It cannot be more than the total. And add this. We also want to add a lower bound that these calls should be larger than or equal to 0. And then click OK. Now we have set these two constraints. We also need to set an additional one that here we have calculated the total number of calls. It has to be less than or equal to 15. So we add another constraint where this cell, the total number of calls, is less than or equal to 15. And click OK. So one more constraint is that the sales calls cannot be nine integers. You cannot make half a call. So it should be integers. So another constraint we add is these calls needs to be int, means they're all integers. Click OK. So now we have the server set up. And click Solve. So it's done. And the new solution is a reallocation, actually. You're going to call Doctor Who only five times, and Dr. Frank seven, and Dr. West three, and you give up on Dr. House because the return is not worth it. And the total profit is $13,000. And you have increased your total profit by about 10% by better allocating your effort for detailing. That concludes this video.